Hi, my name is Caroline Weber and I'm applying to the leadership program. The first question is, what are you looking forward to most about going to college? The thing I'm most looking forward to is being independent. I'm so excited to be away from my home, my friends, my family, and do things all by myself. I think it's going to give me a really good sense of what the real world is like and how to support myself. On the other hand, I'm excited to meet new people, form new connections, and step out of my comfort zone. The next question is, can you talk about a time where you had to handle disappointment? A time where I had to handle disappointment is when my mom told me she was not going to be able to send me to private school. Growing up, I wanted the best education possible, and this private school was just that. When I was in eighth grade, I applied to the school, I got in. I even applied to test out of the current math class I was in, and I got out of that too. I was even at the point where I had my name on a locker, when my mom finally told me that she was not going to be able to send me to the school. I was devastated at the time, and I heavily resented her. But looking back on it, I wouldn't trade my high school experience for the world, and I loved the memories that I made in high school. The next question is, can you talk about a time where you had to work with a person different from you? A time where I had to work with somebody different from me was my first day of dual enrollment classes. I walked into my class and I sat down and immediately my professor put us in groups of three. We had to talk with each other about our ethnicity, our race, our ideology, religious beliefs, and everything under the sun about our lives. Talking to these two girls, I realized one of them was 28 years old and the other one was 26 years old. I thought it was crazy how a little 17 year old like me could relate to these two girls that were so much older than me. But I really valued what, the, um, what we talked about and the advice they gave me. The next question is, describe a time where you took on a leadership position without having a formal leadership role in the group. Every year for homecoming, my student council puts on a sale where we sell homecoming t-shirts um, in order to raise money. So this year, nobody wanted to put on this fundraiser and little old me was like, okay, well, I'll put this on by myself. And so I designed t-shirts, I made the fundraiser myself, I even distributed the t-shirts all by myself. We raised over $600 with the fundraiser and I was able to hand my advisor a big check and helped out a lot for our um, for student council this year. So that was really great. The next question is describe how you spend time when you're not in class and what you have learned from those experiences. When I'm not in class, I really enjoy doing service work. I like to do this through NHS, through student council, through Key Club, and finally through my church. Um, my favorite service I do is through my church, and last year I got the pleasure of picking up Christmas presents um, and delivering them to about six homes of people in need of Christmas presents. And this was a really valuable and a heartwarming experience to see the look on these people's faces when they finally got to um, get presents for, for once. And it made me realize how privileged I was and how with my years in my life I want to devote a lot of my time to service and, you know, helping other people that are less privileged than me. So thank you so much for listening to this. I really hope you consider me for the leadership program. Thank you so much.